Hello and welcome to another fun filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? Hello and welcome to another fun day. What we're going to do is patch together something new, sort of, um, but we're going to focus today, we're going to focus in on the uh, toy box library, but something we haven't really dived into yet, and that is the drums, which I saw a short demo on from the guys at toy box very nicely done because i didn't really know how to hook this thing up so thank you very much and now what i know you do what you do do is you do this i mean 99 is a fine frequency that's fine i just want to be able to know when i start it so what i'm going to do is add for starters a mixer And let's start getting some things patched in here. So we'll use our purple for audio cables. And then, um, yeah, for right now, this will just be the all mixer. And then we'll go toy box drums. Boom. Now how the hell do we... Patch this thing in. Um, a positive zero crossing at this input will play back the sample. So what that means is if we set the gate of a sequencer to the reset, it'll play it back. So check this out. Toy box. Sequencer. Let's do a gate sequencer. And this is a very straightforward sequencer. I love it. And we're just going to patch in the gate. And let's see our friend, the reference. And gate will be, for our purposes, teal. And we will play when it says to play. And we'll use the gate of this to hit the reset. So let's give it a shot. All right, sequencer is definitely running. Let's stop it. Let's uh, stop it somewhere in here. Let's see if it starts at the beginning. It should with this play hooked up. Sure does. So let's patch this in to the mixer. And let's see if we can get some sound. Awesome. So we definitely have some sound, and that's badass. Now the select selects the sample to play. Note the current sample is only updated after a reset is triggered or after the loop ends. Use the select port to update the sample in real time. Ah, exactly. So the select port selects the sample. Well, how does it do that? Well, let's learn how this works. So this control does the same thing, and Kind of hard to see a little bit with, let's just move all this onto the same level for now so we can kind of see what this waveform is doing. And um, the select is going to quite simple. So course will tune the sample 
and decay allows you to control the decay of the sample. Jolly. This literally selects different samples each time. So what do you want? Want some snare? You want some uh, hi hats? So you want some toms or some other stuff. So up to 121, I mean, there's all sorts of stuff. And let's just set something simple up for right now and get it kind of queued up. Now, what I also want to do is get a value sequencer in here. So what this guy is going to allow us to do is it's going to... allow us to set the value of the drum sequencer. There we go. And stop it. Now let's reset it. Now these two are in sync. Now, if I want to see if I can get this guy to select a different, it's kind of like an accent beat right here. So let's see if I can get it to select a different kick drum. Not yet. It's not doing anything. Why? It's not patched in anywhere. So let's patch in the value sequencer to modulate the sample and select. There it is. Nice. So, it's a pretty sweet kick. And now if we wanted to, we could add, I mean, more drums. So we're going to need another sequencer. So let's try to keep things fairly clean. What sound do we want this to be? I don't know yet, but let's get this patched into the audio. Start hearing some stuff. All right, now we need to synchronize. So let's get all the plays and everything hooked up. And then... Now let's reset playback.
this end going to be used for much more than a drums mixer, so I might as well throw it over here and call it out. Nice. It's pretty gnarly, pretty gnarly setup right now. Not bad. So I wonder what we can do. I think if we double click on it, gives a little accent. So click on the switches to turn on or off. Click and drag to turn on and off multiple. Oh, nice. Right click to clear all the switches. Nice. Double click. To assign the switch to yeah an accent output so you see how it how the second one sounds a little bit louder <coughs> it's cool all right so we got kick into number one we got hats into number two that's something pretty cool going right now let's uh have some fun
this work side chain the kick <clears throat> let's see see it working. So the audio is going into the compressor, into the compressor, uh, out to the mixer, and it's acting upon uh, the audio coming out of the kick. So the compression is happening when the kick fires. So that's pretty badass too.
Not bad. How's that for wanting to hear everything? No filter. I just noticed there's no filter anywhere in here, and I don't want to add one. It sounds good. Just it sounds beautiful. Just the way it is. Thank you.